What's up, Copy Squad? It's your boy, Kyle Milligan, coming to you live from Boca Raton, Florida. And today I want to talk about a big copywriting mistake that I call poor man's intrigue. And this is one of my probably biggest pet peeves that I deal with when working with uh, junior copywriters and copywriters inside the Copy Squad. I have to get on them all the time for this. Uh, this is the Copy Squad Inner Circle where I review members' uh, copy every other Tuesday. We got our next call next Tuesday. Uh, that's neither here nor there. But this is such a common occurrence, and it, 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 I think it proliferates across not just amateur copywriters, but I've seen professional copywriters do it, and I am looking at what would probably a professional copywriter's copy, and I see it in this email that I looked at today. So let's pull up that email. So Michael Robinson sent this email from Strategic Tech Investor. Let's see if I can blow this up for you. Okay, and I thought, heck, maybe I could go over what a professional dedicated email looks like. And this is a dedicated email because this is one email dedicated to driving traffic to a specific promo or some sort of offer that they're trying to promote right now. So let's go through this email really quick, and I'll kind of walk you through what I'm seeing. Dear reader, if you've never started a new year 10 times richer, you'll want to pay close attention. Because <clears throat> once you put these five simple moves into action, you can see up to 1,000% total gains hit your account. Now, I want to make absolutely sure I got in touch with you today. Reason being, around this time of year, a lot of folks start thinking about where they like to be in the next 12 months. And a year from now, I want you to look back at 2020's most profitable year of your life. Here's how you can make it happen. Now, all these links are going to take us to the same exact promotion. Right? See that tab? You can make a thousand percent. You can make a thousand percent. All these links are driving to this one promotion. Okay. Hey everyone, Tom Gentle. All right, thanks, Tom. We'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, so Tom Gentle's pulling the back the curtain's biggest money making secret. He's ready to share everything you know about fi flying five profit opportunities. Let me be clear: every year, the, like clockwork, these special trade recommendations have given our readers a chance to make a ton of money. So we're almost done here. Stick with me. Uh, here's testimonial A, testimonial B, testimonial C. Hands down, nothing comes close to what Tom has been able to accomplish for his followers. The only catch is these extraordinary trade opportunities only appear within a strict time frame in the first week of January. And if you miss it, you miss out for good. Don't risk it. Go here now for all the details. To your success, Mike Ward, publisher. Okay, I was looking this over, and I noticed right out of the gate something that I, I labeled poor man's intrigue just jumped out and slapped me in the face. This is prevalent in not only just email copy, but also copy copy, like sales letter copy. And it's this line. Well, first, let me talk about the general construct of an email, which should be uh, D-I-C, disrupt intrigue click. They do that very well here. I mean, it's, it's structured perfectly. It says right away, if you've never started the new year 10 times richer, you'll want to pay close attention. So it's trying to disrupt, right? And uh, the, the email subject line of this was... What was it? Five new moves that could double your money or more. Okay, so five new moves. We all know the power of new, easy, safe, and big. So right there in the subject line, there's something new that could double your money. So it's new and big. It's very powerful. Now we've got disrupt, and then the rest of this should intrigue you, and then they should call for you to click. And that's what they do down here is they set up the click in these last couple lines. So this whole block in the middle is basically your intrigue block. Okay, everything in here you should consider this is intrigue building. The purpose of this email is not to sell you on flying five profit opportunities, it's to get you intrigued enough about them to click. That's how dedicated emails function. That's why copywriters create these big sales promotions, VSLs, webinars, sales letters, so that once you get to that page, this job is to sell you, okay? So this is just to intrigue you enough to click. So right here is what I call poor man's intrigue. If you've never started your new year 10 times richer, you wanna pay close attention, disrupt, Poor man's intrigue, because once you put these five simple moves into action, you can see up to 1,000% total gains hit your account. Now, I want to make absolutely sure I got in touch with you today. Here's why I call this poor man's intrigue and why it drives me up the flipping wall when I see it, is I hate, I, get, I cringe when I see the use of the word this, or in this case, the plural, these. Uh, once you put these five simple moves into action, because what poor man's intrigue is, is the use of indefinite pronouns uh, like he, she, them, they, or this, or, or the use of something like this thing will make you rich. And what drives me nuts about it is because it doesn't really create intrigue. I think in, in the mind of a writer, and I see people do it all the time, it's like, oh, if I don't tell them what this is, they're going to be curious. 
The problem is it's like a bad bullet. It's like a bad fascination where a bullet should, should really convey two things. The first thing is it should make the reader wonder how, which is what this one does. Okay, so imagine that this little line is a bullet, okay? And if I were to write a bullet, there's two things I'd want to accomplish. One, make the reader wonder how. Now, the second thing, there's like a two-parter to that. It's like one and then 1.1, which is the second part is it needs to be weirdly specific enough that I have to believe it's real, right? So your bullets, when I when I, when I write bullets or teach people about bullets or anything like that, like a fascination, I say, he, it needs to make the reader wonder how. They got to badly want the results, right? So he says, you can see up to 1,000% total gains hit your account. Cool beans, bro. But then is it weirdly specific enough that I could really believe that this is real? So there's nothing, there's no evidence, no weird specificity or hints or teasers. I think you should consider your intrigue to be like a treasure map. And you have this idea, you know what the thing is, and you want to drop little breadcrumbs. You want to drop little hints, little clues to get them to the treasure. There's no clues here. This is just says, hey, there's a map and it's got an X on it. Bam, treasure time. You want it? So I think that's what drives me up the wall about poor man's entry. Because it's very, first off, it comes off to me, it not to call the writer lazy, but the writing itself feels lazy because I'm not, I'm not convinced here. Not only that, okay, so I've talked about teasing your mechanism before. These five simple moves are a mechanism that deliver a result. You put the moves into action, you get the result, 1,000% total gains. The mechanism delivers the result. The mechanism delivers the result. The mechanism delivers the result. I always say it three times because I need people to, I need my, my copywriters in the inner circle to remember this and it stick because when I see it, it, I'm going to get mad <laughs> when they submit copy that, that they, don't, they don't recognize that the mechanism delivers the result. So you got these five simple moves delivers a thousand percent gain. So we've got a mechanism introduced and then where's the teasing? The point and purpose of the teasing is to make it feel real, make it believable, make it tangible. Even something like a not statement, these five simple moves into action, they're not X, Y, or Z, that at least gives me some sort of world to live in where I'm like, it's not real estate, it's not options, and it's not this or something like that, even though this is actually options. Um, so we, we, we jump into the five simple moves, and then what happens next? Absolutely pivots away. Absolutely pivots away. Now that's the epitome of poor man's intrigue because the writer is relying exclusively on the word this, or in this case, a, a plural. The writer is relying exclusively on the vagueness of these to propel intrigue forward. Does that make sense? Like the writer is exclusively, exclusively relying on your curiosity at what the word this means. And I don't think that's powerful, compelling copy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe as I was reading this to you, you were compelled. All right, so here's the opener line. If you've never started a new year, 10 times richer, you'll wanna pay close attention. Because once you put these five simple moves into action, you could see up to 1,000% total gains hit your account. Now I wanted to be to make absolutely sure I got in touch with you today. So are you curious about these five simple moves as much as probably the writer hopes that you are? I don't, I don't think you would be. However, if you could have given some sort of teaser, some sort of element about what the five simple moves are, where they derived from, who came up with them, what's the history behind them. And I'm talking like one line. And in copy, a line is, you know, it's not like one sentence that runs on for three lines. I'm talking like this much information. It's a little known thing that blah, 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 blah. Or you could even do, I, I pulled up the uh, presentation. It's a short little presentation, 22 minutes. Look right here. You could even have said these five simple moves, you could see up to a thousand percent total gains hit your account. Okay. Now what else do I say? Once you introduce a mechanism, you should tease about it a little bit. You need to make sure that they feel it, that this is a real mechanism. Okay. You do that by being weirdly specific. The other side of this is this triggers a BS reaction. Five simple moves, 1000%. Well, when that happens, you could demonstrate results. That's what I think whenever you're setting up your sales letter, you want to hit them with a big promise and then immediately demonstrate that what you're saying is not BS. Since we introduce a mechanism, I think I would tease the mechanism instead, but it is an alternative to demonstrate results. So what you could do is you could come down here. You could say, already we've seen incredible, our readers have seen incredible results. One, two, three. And if you look back to last year at the same time or something like that, I was able to do it then too. So now you're also establishing like this is from the presentation. 
he's got these gains listed right here, a total of 483% total gains. So that falls short of the 1,000% big promise, but maybe maybe tweak it. Maybe 483% last year is more believable. And this year I expect it to be even bigger, something like that. But then again, this is this is where I, I get um, – I see this happen and I, I go, no, 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 no. You should, you should make it real, make it real with some weirdly specific element. Okay. And that all happens within these first two lines. I'm happy to hear your feedback, what you guys think. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope this was useful. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Copy squad.